cushion cover time. Don't mind the messy house. I've been busy, okay? Today, I'm gonna start the whole cover process. I did practice on a few cushions for our patio furniture outside that I will show you. I will say if you have any sort of project that kind of needs to get done but doesn't need to be perfect, practice first because I feel very confident in this cushion process now. I'm sorry, puppy. I I said I was gonna talk a little bit about my process. I don't know if I said that, but I'm saying it now. I made this cushion yesterday and I made three other ones. Therefore, some chairs and a little bench out in my back patio. I used these as practice. I learned a ton from them. Biggest takeaway, use nice thread. It's not fun when you know how to sew it, but the sewing machine doesn't work. So I bought upholstery thread. There we go. I bought this upholstery thread in this, what color would this be, T tapisseria? I don't know, in this like brown color. I also bought some upholstery needles um, for this project. Also measuring, getting exact measurements and making sure that everything is measured accurately. There's no winging this part I've learned. I used a tutorial on the website Sailrite. It's like a sewing company. They have a YouTube tutorial on a 30 minute box cushion. This took me longer than 30 minutes, but it is a very simple tutorial. So a few things that I'm just adding to this couch. One is this total protection mattress pad. I am gonna cut this up into four little squares and they're gonna fit on top of the cushions. I just don't want anyone to spill or any animals to throw up or pee or whatever they do. I don't want it to ruin my cushion. So I um, bought this at like Home Goods for $40, $39.99, and I'm just gonna cut it up. Unfortunately, that's a lot to spend on a mattress pad, but I'm gonna cut it up and put it over the surface so that if anything happens, I can just zip the covers off and just throw them into the washing machine. These cushions were cut, as you saw, uh, by hand and so that means some of the edges are uneven and it's just not consistent all the way around so I bought some I think this is called batting I'm pretty sure it's pretty thin but this will just kind of be wrapped around each cushion so that uh, it's even and I'm not sitting directly on the foam with that I, I think we can get started <laughs> I think it might be kind of boring trying to see what's happening in my brain, so I'm gonna figure this out and I'll show you what I come up with. <laughs> All right, I am not entirely sure where I left off. So this is how far I am. I'm, I ordered some elastic to go on each corner and then the elastic is just gonna wrap around. So I'm gonna just get started on sewing the actual cover because that's what I've been wanting to do since I figured out how to do it. I finished cutting my 91 inch by 46 inch fabric. So now I have to do the fabric notches. Double-sided tape down this side. 
of my zipper. So I'm gonna put the double-sided tape on, which I still think is a waste of time. Sale right? I feel like they know a little bit more about sewing than I do. I'm gonna trust what they have to say. This is the sewing machine I'm gonna be using. I've had it for six years. It was my, it is my first sewing machine and it came with all these stickers to decorate it with. <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna make it through this. But this will be the test right now is when we know or not if this little guy will make it through. So it's in this machine. I'm not ready for this kids. I am not ready. One side is done. Okay, whoa, I got really close to the edge there. Now I have to fold it in half and pin it. Gosh, we're almost at the end. One side has been completed. So this needs to be sewn like this and that will make my box corners, but I'm gonna first just do this one down here. I'm gonna just flap it and I'm gonna undo this tape. Okay, and I'm gonna sew. That was dramatic. Oh my gosh, we just finished one cushion, y'all. We're gonna turn it inside out. I made a cushion. So here's my cushion. Shall we see if the mattress actually fits in it? I might need a helper. Yep, I'm definitely gonna need a helper. Oh no, you guys, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna try to finagle this. I don't, I don't wanna swear too much. Oh, hi everybody, it is the next day indeed. I did get the cover on my cushion, but it was really hard and I got overwhelmed and then I went and got ice cream, so I didn't film. I'm also going to explain a few of the other things that I have not explained yet. All right, so the one thing I wanted to show was these clamps. Before I even started building this couch, I bought these three inch clamps. These um, are going to be what keeps the couch together. So I have little felt pieces that will go on the metal part and this red part. And I will just tighten these to keep all of the couch pieces together. <laughs> elastic in the mail and so I'm gonna sew the toppers onto each or at least sew the uh, toppers for each cushion which I it's not very exciting I'm at least not excited to do it so that's what I'm gonna do and stay tuned for the final put together <laughs> So before, 
I had sewn this part right up at the edge, but it didn't work. So now I measure three inches down and I put the elastic thing there and it fits over this corner without too much indentation. much work last big cushion I still have four more pillow cushions hopefully those just feel easier to me <sighs> done with all these stupid cushion covers wow that was exhausting we got this corner uh oh okay wait I made a boo-boo and these corners yay I'm gonna go put it on and I'm not gonna show you yet. Hi, so it's been a few. I did finish all the big cushions. I think I've told you all that. But now I'm working on the shorter pieces because I finished the long pieces. It looks really cool. I'm gonna do a little measuring, a little cutting getting everything done to finally complete this freaking couch. I did say I was gonna complete it by the weekend, and it is Friday. It's five o'clock, I think. Just got done with work. I'm gonna figure this out. We do have some guests coming over tonight, and I really want them to sleep on our brand new couch that's completely finished. Everything has now been cut. I cut the last two. I'm gonna pin these all together and get rolling on the actual constructing of them. Okay, so I just sewed a half inch seam allowance here and I marked where two inches was down here and so I'm gonna fold this in half, iron it, and then I'm gonna place the zipper down the seam and then I rip the seam. seam. Put the zipper on your zipper before you sew it on because otherwise you have to swear a little bit more and put it on the hard way and rip all the seams and start over. I did that twice. I did that twice. <laughs> put the zipper pull on before you sew it. Okay? Cool. So I have the zipper in, so now I have to rip the seam to expose it. Yay! The 
zipper does work. So this is gonna be the side of one of the pillows. So I, this is my last cushion, but I think I did figure out how to pin it so that it stays together. So I basted, base taped, used basting tape on the edges and then pinned vertically instead of horizontally. And I think, I have not sewn yet, but this actually worked really well with the zipper. So I'm hoping that I have a similar owie result with the way I pinned it because this is single-handedly the most frustrating part of the entire process. So it's like kind of working, but for my perfectionist brain, it's definitely not. But we're, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. That was way too easy. I feel like I have something coming for me. Okay. I did this one in under an hour. That's unheard of. Oh my gosh. I actually think I have tennis elbow from sewing so much. We're done. I'm gonna put this in its case. And then you're gonna see my couch.